Welcome back to the master cash book on Excel. By now you should have posted um, so many transactions. I have plenty of transactions here that I've posted. Um, so I've shown you how to um, post transactions, control account, opening balances. So we have all of them here. Let's say um, on the 1st of November 22. We had uh, payment for staff salaries. Let's see the bank account that have more money. I have money in Fine Bank Limited, I have in Good Bank Limited, I have in my bank. And see, contra account is zero. If you see any amount here in contra, then there's a problem. It has to be zero at all times contract should be zero at all times so don't have any amount here it shows you've not done proper bookkeeping for your contra entries so um i'm paying from fine bank limited and i'm paying to let's say staff to your staff can want to have them one by one for you or just one the pv is pv 00089 Then amount paid was 5.5 million salaries. Then it becomes your cash outflow. Then the code for salary it um, gets to your active account and look for salary and wages 36. Just type 36 there. You posted for salaries. You can see if the cumulative balance 8 million is what you have. In all your banks and your cash to confirm this check your check account setup 8 million is a breakdown of your cash and bank balances you can see the breakdown you know you don't have to start putting data together to get your balance once you use this master cash book you have automatic cash balances from from all your banks and all your cash accounts that you have okay, so um, try your hands around it. It's not difficult to use this template. Like I said, this column is for external references like invoices, receipt numbers. Not difficult to use. Very easy and very straightforward to use. To enter data in your master cash book, what do you need to do? Start with the date. Describe the transactions. Select the bank or the cash account. Type beneficiary or your, or your partner, PV number or RV number. PV is payment voucher, RV is receipt voucher. Then receipt number, if any, the amount. Select if it's an outflow or an inflow. Put the account code is going to, and voila, you are done with your posting. Next is to go into your report and see how the reports look like. Before the report, let's demonstrate another one. First of let's say third of November 22, we have we have receipts of payment from debtors. They paid into my bank PLC and vendor's name um, is let's say um, why me enterprises receipt number rv 000 something amount received let's say two Point seven six ninety two point seven six nine million. Then cash inflow. Now this goes to your sales. So go to your sales account and twenty one. Just type in twenty one there, and you are fine. So debit. 
comes into your debit and credit goes into your credit okay don't forget your control entry very easy to use we have your cash balance once you use this template and we have other report as well so feel free to ask us questions if you have any challenge but you can see that it's a very simple template to use and there is no issue or challenge trying to enter data in this spreadsheet next up we'll look at the various reports that we have in this um, template thanks for watching bye